All right, artists, well now we're ready to paint. So you should have gathered your materials and you needed some paint, your paint brush, and also a cup of water. My cup of water is off to the side, so you might not see it. I don't have enough room on my camera to have everything in the camera shot. So sorry about that. Well, now we're ready to paint our pumpkin. And this is going to be fun because of all that hard work we did coloring in the polka dots with crayons. So what I'm first going to do and what you guys will remember too is I'm going to take my paintbrush, tap it gently on the side. I need water but I don't need it spilling and dripping all over everything. And I'm going to pick a color to use. So I am swirling around in this fun color bluish green here. And now I'm going to go right over my polka dots. And what you're going to find is when you do that, the paint is going to kind of go off of the polka dots because water and crayon don't mix. And so what's fun is we can still see the polka dots through the paint. And we don't have to worry about painting right on top of those. So I have my pumpkin color here. And I'm going to keep put painting it in that color. Now you can decide, well, you know what, uh, if you want to maybe another color here or another color here. But make sure in your space you're only choosing one color. So you don't want to see like a little bit of red, a little bit of blue, a little bit of green. Use one color like what I'm doing. And then I go over everything. Okay, it can be a different color in these two side spots. But make sure, whatever you decide, what color to use, that you're doing the whole shape that color. So I need a little bit more water swirling around in my paint, and I'm going to do this side too. Alright, uh, and just a few little reviews and reminders for you. If you're wearing long sleeves, you might want to push them up to your elbows so you don't drag that sleeve through the paint. You might decide that uh, you need something underneath your painting before you paint. You could do that too. If you remember, we always had a messy mat uh, or a painting paper we put underneath it. And uh, you could also make sure when you're painting, you're taking good care of that paintbrush of yours because you're going to need it for some other art projects in here. All right. Uh, so now I've painted my pumpkin, but I'm not quite done. I want to go ahead and add some things into the background. I'm going to move my paint out of the way a little bit, just so that you guys can see my background more. But my paint's still there, and I'm still going to use it. So I'm going to wash off that blue off my brush. And now I'm going to go back in, and I'm going to decide some paint colors. And I'm going to... Start adding some polka dots. Uh, remember Kusama thought that pump that polka dots uh, were a little symbol of us and that we're all polka dots in the world and then Earth is a polka dot in outer space. All of the other planets are polka dots. Uh, all of those planets uh, that have stars around them, those stars are polka dots. And then the whole universe is one big polka dot. So we are just a polka dot among billions. I kind of like how the sound of that, uh, that we're all a polka dot in the universe. That sounds fun to me. I might decide to change colors, and I am. So I'm going to use another color now. And if you notice, I didn't go over my, po my polka dots. So I didn't put them together or make them touch. So I'm going to keep doing the same thing. And I'm going to add some polka dots in between it with this orange color, if you can tell in the camera. So now I've got that. And then, you know what, I'm going to move on down to the bottom and into the ground. And I think the last thing that I'm going to do is paint a nice ground. So I'm going to paint it any color I'd like. So it doesn't have to be green like grass or white like snow. I'm going to paint my ground blue. 
I think that looks just fabulous. Now how you back paint your background is up to you. All right, but we want to fill in our paper and get as much color as we can. Kusama loves color. And I think it makes the artwork look a little more interesting too. So when you're all finished with your painting, make sure you don't hold it up right away. I know you'll be proud of it, but you got to let that paint dry. Remember, we don't want any paint dripping off of it or messing up your artwork that you've worked so hard at. So make sure that it just stays flat for a little bit. Take a picture on the last slide, add it to the polka dot frame, and then submit your artwork. I can't wait to see your Kusama pumpkins. I think this is a hang up the wall project for some of you. So it'll be fun to see them hanging up too in your home, I bet. All right, have fun.